real found footage, a true mysterious phenomena that has to have one of the creepiest origins to this date. Real found footage is footage recovered from an incident where a brave explorer or group of explorers find themselves adventuring in an unknown area with a camera to document their ordeals. Unfortunately, the name found footage has to come from somewhere, which indefinitely means that these brave travelers usually encounter something or someone, with the story usually ending as their camera was left behind during a pursuit, left for the next traveler to find. Many times the outcome of the story would be the same for the original group, as they usually go missing, never to be seen again, which to me is probably one of the scariest phenomena anyone could experience. Imagine yourself in this scenario. You'd feel like a star of a horror movie, except one where no one escapes, which is why today I wish to dive deep into the creepiest cases of real found footage that I could find. And let this be a warning to everyone who has plans to roam an abandoned building with their friends this weekend. Make sure to bring a camera, so people will at least have something to remember you by if things take a turn for the worst. The first video we will be watching today is known as Campers Go Missing. The story goes as follows. In 2009, three friends went camping along a river in Georgia, never to be seen again. The footage that I am about to show you is evidence used in their investigation, as no traces of them were ever recovered. The clip I am about to show you is one of the duplicated tapes given to the family to get some sort of picture of what might have happened to their sons. Only three copies have ever been made. Here's what was on the tape. They follow me everywhere I go. They are Manita. Holy shit, that just freaked me they out. They just freaked my ass. <laughs> you see that dude? It's, it's, hey. it's not about you. You know your name. You follow me over here and we're like, just be quiet. <laughs> I like, I, I, I enjoyed this album. As seen in the video, a car or truck is seen by the group as they all instinctively stare at it passing by. A door slamming could be heard in the distance. My guess is whoever was in that car was responsible for the disappearance of these three young men. Further in the video, you could hear three car doors slam shut, meaning that the suspect was in a group of individuals and not a solo maniac. The suspects released their dogs after the three young men, and seemingly from the video, had also taken shots at them too. This chills me to my bones as me and my friends always wanted to go camping together, but videos like this only make my paranoia stronger. My guess is that the suspects would be gang affiliated or just a group of psychos who wanted to kill without getting caught. Whatever it was, I hope they are caught and given the right punishment for their crimes. My prayers go out to the families and these three young men. The next video we will watch together is known as A Board is Still a Board. Now the story behind this video isn't as spooky or strange, but it really makes you question the powers of the supernatural. In order to have contact with the dead, it isn't rare to find people using Ouija boards. But if you don't have one, have no fear, you can simply create your own from scratch, which is what this group of friends decided to do in the video. After creating their homemade board, they planned to head home and try using it for the first time. This is what was caught from the footage of their ordeal. Is there anybody here? Don't move it. Is this, uh, is this Susan? Uh, are you a good spirit? What is your name? J. O. Oh. 
H. John. And don't just just let your hand rest on it. What do you want? Okay. Ah. L. Kill. I don't do this shit anymore. Did you guys move it? No. Are you sure? I didn't fucking move it. I wasn't even touching it really. Here, here, take this. Don't. As seen in the clip, the group seems to aggravate a spirit within their home, which leads to it asking for someone. After further questioning the ghost, strange things start to occur, like glass moving on its own and strange noises being heard. In the end, some sounds are heard by the group. Jackson, being the man of the group, decides to check out what it was to make sure he and his friends are safe and sound. Unfortunately, when it comes to demons and spirits, being a hero is the worst thing you can be, as he is attacked by some unknown spirit that locks itself within a dark room with him. One lesson we can learn from this? When facing the supernatural, don't be a hero. The final clip we'll watch together is known as Followed in the Forest. This clip might be the shortest clip in this video, but beware, just because it's short doesn't mean it's sweet. This clip happened to be lost for about 13 years and was uploaded to old platforms to find out who the man in the video is. Here's a clip. It's uh, currently July 25th, uh, 2006, and the time is at 4 40 pm. I'm currently up in the woods due to well what the town's been talking about how there's been some weird occurrences and um oh god <laughs> what okay oh fuck okay all right, um... Okay, I'm not like this. Oh, shit. I can't. The clip is definitely eerie and strange, as noises that almost seem human are heard, but it also sounds like something you would see out of a horror movie. These strange noises are definitely not from our world, at least not something that we ever discovered. Regardless, it gives me chills. But that's pretty much all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the creepiest real cases of found footage I could find, and make sure to leave a like and comment your thoughts on anything that I have missed or you'd like me to check out. This was Nathiel, and I hope you have a good evening and good night.